quickly speak audibly so that you may be heard speak audibly so that you may be heard <clears throat> speak audibly so that you may be heard speak audibly so that you may be heard okay final one one two three okay um welcome to this tutorial guys uh it's on simplification of compound fractions okay so i know you guys hate fractions already so compound fractions are even scarier no i'm kidding they're not um but yeah so i've got some examples and then some fun examples some examples that make you think a bit okay so let's get into it as per usual we want to simplify uh, these expressions. So the first thing we can do with this is find the lowest common denominator at the top and the bottom, which is x over y. And therefore, we have 1 minus x squared y squared. At the bottom, we're going to have xy again times xy plus 1. Okay, cool stuff. Now I've got to change this is currently a divide so I want to change it to a multiplication so how you do that is you write the first term as it is and you times it and you change the sign xy over xy plus one sorry you change the direction so you take the bottom thing to the top and the top thing to the bottom again just for you guys for some knowledge so if you don't want knowledge no, I'm kidding but um, if you just don't want to know then skip forward but essentially why we we get this as the final answer why we get this as the final answer is we multiply the entire term by xy over xy plus one over xy over xy plus one and why do we multiply it by this because this gives us this is the same as saying multiply everything by one because we have the same thing over the same thing so one over one is always one and 2 over 2 is 1, x over x is all 1. So we're just multiplying it by this fraction over this fraction, which are exactly the same thing, which is equivalent to multiplying it by 1. And when we multiply 1 by anything, it just gives us the original thing. So that is, again, just some background knowledge. Um, okay, so now let's simplify this. So I'm going to simplify it. So we're going to have 1 minus xy, 1 plus xy, using difference of two squares over xy times xy over i'm going to write this as one plus xy because it doesn't make a difference but now we can see these two terms cancel each other xy cancel with xy and the final answer we're left with is one minus xy okay good stuff and that's the answer so not too bad i think i'm going to need some space i'm just going to there we go okay we're going to do the same thing again we're going to find the lcd which is xy and we're going to have x squared minus y squared and that's going to be all over and again the lcd is xy all over x squared minus 2x plus y squared okay so that's what it's going to look like so essentially this term is missing an x so I multiply by x this is missing both x and y and this term is missing a y so I multiply by a y again we want to take this bottom thing to the top so how we do that is we write the first top part as it was and change the direction plus y squared okay now I'm going to factorize so using difference of two squares, we get x minus y, x plus y, over xy times xy divided by, and how do we factorize this? This is going to be x minus y squared, or x minus y, x minus y. Okay, now we can see that there's nice things that cancel, so xy cancels with xy, x minus y cancels with x minus y, so we're left with x plus y over x minus y okay 
that stuff. Um, and that's the final answer. Okay, okay. Um, looking at this question, so we have one plus a fraction. So I'm going to leave the one as it is, and I'm going to get a lowest common denominator. So that is four minus two y over y over two minus y. Okay, but if we look at this two minus y, this is essentially two minus y over one. So I'm going to flip it around and introduce a multiplication sign. So I'm going to have one plus, and I'm going to take a two out of the first term. So we have two minus y over y times one over two minus y. Okay, now we can cancel some things. So the two minus y cancel with each other. So we're left with one plus two over y. And getting a lowest common denominator, we have y plus two over y. <clears throat> and that is the final answer. Okay, so this next question looks a bit strange. Um, it's drawn a bit strange as well, but essentially it's saying, what does this equal? What does this whole expression equal? 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 15 forever and ever. So what will that equal to? So what we can say is that x is equal to 2 plus 15. And uh, yeah, so we can say x is equal to this whole term. That whole thing. So let's copy. Oh, okay, it's not going to let me paste it. So let's just write it out. X equals 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 15 over 2 plus 15 over dot dot dot. Okay, by letting x equal that, we can essentially see that we can say so x equals this, right? And this x equals 2 plus 15 is the same as the thing that we see here. Is that right? So it's the same thing. So we can say that x equals 2 plus 15 over x. Because if you substitute x back into here, it gives us the original equation. Okay. So then what we can do is we multiply the x up. So we have x squared equals 2x plus 15. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. So we have x factorizing this, we get x minus 5, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x equals 5, or x equals minus 3. Okay, so now we have to pick between both of the answers, one of the answers or the other answer. Okay, so all of these terms in the original equation are all positives. We don't see a negative anywhere, so our final answer cannot be negative. So x, so this x equals negative 3 is not applicable. So our final answer is x equals 5. Okay, looking at this next question, so again, we just have to simplify this. So how are we going to do this? Okay, so what I suggest is we convert each bracket into improper fractions. So we have 1 plus a half is equal to 3 over 2 plus 4 over 3, 1 plus 1 fourth is equal to 5 over 4, 6 over 5, and you can see a pattern, okay? The last bracket is going to be 101 over 100. And I'm going to put in the second last bracket, which would be 100 over 99, okay? And you'll see why. So now we can cross cancel some things. So the 3s cancel, 4s cancel, 5s cancel, 6 would cancel, and this continues, each term would be cancelled. 99 gets cancelled by the 99 in the previous term, and 100 and 100 cancel. So we're only left with two things, which is 101 over 2, which is our final answer. So not too bad. Okay, looking at the last question, we have 6 over 4, uh, 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus dot dot dot, so all the way until 2 1007 over 4 plus 6 plus 2 or plus 8 plus dot 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 all the way to 1338. So how are we going to simplify this? Well, let's try do this by inspection. Let's look at the first term. If we simplify the first term, 6 over 4 is equal to 3 
or 2. It's just dividing by 2. Okay. If we look at the second part, if we look at just the second part, we get 6 plus 9 over 4 plus 6 is equal to 15 over 10, which is equal to 3 over 2. Looking at the first three things, we get our 6 plus 9 plus 12 over 4 plus 6 plus 8, which is equal to, fifth, uh, it's essentially 15 plus 12, which is 27, over 10 plus 8, which is 18. If we divide that by 9, we get 3 over 2. So essentially, what we see is every single time this equation is equal to 3 over 2. So the entire equation would equal 3 over 2 when simplified. Okay, so I hope you guys found this video useful. That's all the questions I have, um, and thanks for watching.